to the Montana State Barley Breeding Program's virtual field. My name is Tracy Hopeland, and since joining the program as a graduate student in 2015, I've been working towards accelerating the development of improved forage barley varieties. So behind me, you can see several of the forage trials we have here in Bozeman. Um, over the years, we've been working hard to screen varieties from around the world, exotic germplasm, and take the best of the best to incorporate into our own Montana adapted forage lines. And the results have been pretty exciting. So you can see these two plots here behind me. We've got a cross incorporating some exotic germplasm next to a commonly grown forage variety called haze and something that might be a little bit difficult to see from there, so I also grabbed some example plants, is what we've been selecting for. Um, you can see that our cross variety is quite a bit taller. It has some additional tillering, and it also has um, increased leaf biomass. So several of the things that we've been really working towards in, uh, with our forage crosses have been incorporated with this exotic germplasm. Uh, one thing you can't see just from looking at the plant is we've also been selecting for increased digestibility. Improving forage digestibility improves animal performance and along with increasing biomass is a top goal of the breeding program. Since 2017 the breeding program has been working towards developing more efficient ways to test for difficult to measure traits such as forage quality, making testing at earlier stages of the breeding selection process possible. Towards this goal, we've been working to develop drone-based image collection and image analysis techniques, which may allow forage and malt quality to be approximated from plot images rather than plot samples. All of our 2020 drone work has only been possible with the support of an equipment grant from New Belgium Brewing. So thank you so much, New Belgium, for partnering with us in this endeavor. Now, this drone has been fitted with a multi-spectral camera. This camera can collect plot reflectance images for bands of the light spectrum that are important for healthy plant function. Small changes in these bands can provide important information about plant function. Drone flights are performed with the help of flight planning software. With this software, we're able to plan data collection flights to meet precise image collection parameters. So this is the drone that I typically fly with, but this is a six copter, hexacopter, and the camera that's actually fitted to this is a multi-spectral camera. So I'll go ahead and show you that. As opposed to being a color camera, this one actually collects light reflectance in five different separate bandwidths. So we can actually kind of key in to five key light reflectance bandwidths that are really related to plant health and can tell us a lot about how the plant's functioning and eventually the forage or malt quality of the plant itself. But this drone and this camera system allow us to do a lot of things we just wouldn't be able to otherwise. The images are collected in grayscale, where the brightness of a plot represents how much light is being reflected in that band of the spectrum. Thousands of images are collected for each spectral band and then stitched together to create a complete image of the field. For each multispectral band, software can ID each plot and extract plot level reflectance data. Machine learning is used then to find important patterns in the multispectral data. When combined with other trait data, such as plot level forage digestibility, the machine learning models can be used to predict the digestibility value of a future plot based solely on that plot's multispectral data. The goal of this technology is to be able to predict a plot's traits based on drone images.